They slither and unfortunately for humans and unsuspecting prey they bite. Snakes bite about 5.4 million people every year, resulting in between 81,000 and 138,000 deaths. Venomous snakes kill their victims with toxic substances produced in a modified salivary gland that the animal then injects into prey using their fangs. And here are 10 snakes whose venom not only packs a punch for small prey but that can take out humans. Black Mamba Africa's deadliest snake can kill a person with just two drops of venom. Black mambas are actually brownish in color, they average around 8 feet, 2.5 meters, and can move at 12 miles per hour, 19 kilometers per hour. The lengthy snakes are born with 2 to 3 drops of venom in each fawn, so they are lethal biters. Fer de Lance A bite from a fer de lance can turn a person's body tissue black as it begins to die. These pit vipers, which live in Central and South America and are between 3.9 and 8.2 feet long and weigh up to 13 pounds or 6 kilogram, are responsible for about half of all snakebite venom poisonings in Central America. Ferdelance de venom contains an anticoagulant a substance that hinders blood clotting, a bite from this snake can cause a person to hemorrhage. Boom's Lang With an egg-shaped head, oversized eyes, and a bright green patterned body, the Boom's Lang is quite the looker. When threatened, the snake will inflate its neck to twice its size and expose a brightly colored flap of skin between its scales. Death from a boom's lang bite can be gruesome. As Scientific American describes it, victims suffer extensive muscle and brain hemorrhaging, and on top of that, blood will start seeping out of every possible exit, including the gums and nostrils, and even the tiniest of cuts. Blood will also start passing through the body via the victim's stools, urine, saliva, and vomit until they die. Luckily, there is anti-venom for the boomslang if a victim can get it in time. Eastern Tiger Snake Native to the mountains and grasslands of Southeast Australia, the Eastern Tiger Snake is named for the yellow and black bands on its body. Its potent venom can cause poisoning in humans in just 15 minutes after a bite and is responsible for at least one death a year on average. Russell's Viper Around 58,000 deaths in India are attributed to snake bites every year, the Russell's viper is responsible for the majority of these mortalities. In Sri Lanka, where this nocturnal viper likes to rest in paddy fields, they cause high mortality among paddy farmers during harvest time. The snake's venom can lead to an awful smorgasbord of symptoms. Acute kidney failure, severe bleeding, and multi-organ damage. Some components of the venom related to coagulation can also lead to acute strokes, and in rare cases, symptoms similar to Sheehan's syndrome in which the pituitary gland stops producing certain hormones. Victims typically die from renal failure. Sawscale Viper The sawscaled is the smallest member of the Big Four in India, along with Russell's Viper, the common krite and the Indian cobra. This snake is responsible for the most bites and related deaths in the country. Once bitten by this viper, a person will have localized swelling and pain in the area, followed by potential hemorrhage. Since the venom messes with a person's ability to clot blood, it can lead to internal bleeding and ultimately acute kidney failure, hydration and anti-venom should be administered within hours of the bite for a person to survive. Banded Krite The banded krite is a slow mover during the day and is much more likely to bite after dark. The snake's venom can paralyze muscles and prevent the diaphragm from moving, this stops air from entering the lungs, effectively resulting in suffocation. King Cobra The King Cobra is the world's longest venomous snake, measuring up to 18 feet or 5.4 m. The snake's impressive eyesight allows it to spot a moving person from nearly 330 feet or 100 m away. When threatened, a king cobra will use special ribs and muscles in its neck to flare out its hood or the skin around its head and it can also lift their heads off the ground about a third of their body length. The king cobra bite can kill a human in 15 minutes and an adult elephant in just a few hours. Coastal Taipan, which lives in the wet forests of temperate and tropical coastal regions, will lift its whole body off the ground as it jumps fangs first with extraordinary precision and injects venom into its enemy. Before 1956, when an effective anti-venom was produced, this snake's bite was nearly always fatal. Inland Taipan The Inland Taipan is one of the most venomous snakes, meaning just a teensy bit of its venom can kill prey or human victims. 
When the Taipan does feel threatened, the snake coils its body into a tight S shape before darting out in one quick bite or multiple bites. A main ingredient of this venom, which sets it apart from other species, is the hyaluronidase enzyme. The inland Taipan poison is 50 times more powerful than that Indian cobra. One specimen has enough poison to kill a horse in just 5 minutes. And precise bite is enough for a man to die in only 20 minutes. To get a better idea how it lethal can be it usually kills 80% of its victims with only 0.38 grains of poison. So it's important that any time we come across an inland taipan snake, the best thing to do is let it go, since if it's disturbed it is more likely that it kills those who disturb it. Unless you're an expert hunter of poisonous snakes, which we don't recommend. Get as far away as you can from them. And if you learned something on this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more update. <laughs>